Hello there, this is Malak and welcome to episode 70 of my Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. We're at this terror mission, so we're uh, probably going to lose someone. Let's let's start on a bad note. Let's let's start on a on a on a, an assumption uh, through pessimism. I think that that would probably be the best bet. So um, I, I don't know why that's a good thing. It, it just is. It just is. And um, hopefully we can save people this time, rather than the normal situation. I assume it's dead end this way. Yeah, we're in the corner. Good, good. Corner is always good. Holy crap, I'd forgotten about how mad your hair was. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm right. Oh, I miss you. Quite newbie. Um. Actually, then again, no, no, you've got a running gun. Yeah, you, yeah. Okay, who? <coughs> That's the problem. It's terror missions are always a very fine balance between rescuing as many people as possible. Um, some pretty great tanks here. Wow, they really did pick an awesome place to terrorize. There's so much military hardware here. They really, really shouldn't have managed to successfully terrorize this area. Meh. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I am going to dash you into there. It gives you cover. We haven't uncovered any enemies yet, so... Um, okay. I'm going to try and get some of Jordan's psionic abilities used this episode. So, touch wood. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. You can get quite far. Wow. Honey, you, um... You're really being a, um, a spearhead here. Okay, I missed. You're going through as well. It's not great cover, but it's cover enough. We still haven't uncovered anything. I don't mind too much at this stage, bunching up a little. At least it then moves us forward, gets us into some good positions, and the majority of enemies we're going to face, assuming things work out similarly to previous times, most of the enemies are going to be hand-to-hand. -hand. Well, bloody hope so, anyway. Okay. Yeah, let's, should we do a sensor? It's not going to hurt, is it? Right in the middle there is probably the best place for a sensor. Got eyes on the AO. What, nothing? Nothing? That's mental. That's totally mental. How far does it... Okay, it goes all the way up to there. That's mental! I mean, I know it's positioned so that, in theory, if there were enemies at either side of these two tanks, you wouldn't quite see them, but still. That's totally mental. Okay, Waffler. Wow, that crate is molten. It keeps you warm, I suppose. It's go time. Oh, here we go. Holy crap! We have Stompy? All I can say is, thankfully, Stompy's... Actually, then again, no, there's no thankful about Stompy ever. Oh, it's the end of the turn. I've been an idiot. I thought it was at the beginning of a turn. Why did I think we were at the beginning of a turn? Why? Oh, God. <coughs> um. Great. I do apologise about that. That's um foolish. Ah, okay. That that's that's me not concentrating. I was so stunned about the sensor not working. I mean, that civilian's going to get shot by a drone. Okay, 
Drone shot civilian. Drone shot civilian. Evil, evil drones. Okay, the drones aren't a huge threat. <clears throat> Stompy is. However, Stompy can only know of the location of one enemy. And maybe an artillery strike heading that way now. I'm going to head behind that cover. Adjusting aim. Lame excuse as usual. Okay, you're going to move there. Swag. Yeah, you're going to move here. The only problem we've got now is I'm a little unsure. It, right, it can't possibly know the location of these soldiers here. Mm. Yes, 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 I know squad sight would be brilliant right now. <laughs> All I can do is have a little bit of confidence. Now I'm, I'm going to move you, Mimi Lal. I am going to move you. I am going to dash you out the way to there. <clears throat> You're just a bit too exposed. Yeah, artillery strike. Oh, what? Ugh. Oh, I see. They're patrolling. Oh, my God. Look at them all. Open fire. Oh, nice shot. That'll do. Wow, that's a zoom out. Damn. Whoa, okay. Talk about nuts reaction fire. What? Okay, things are happening. I don't know what's going on. I think we've killed something. Or not. Or yes. Oh, there's another dead civilian. Goody, goody. Okay, where did that wall go? I swear there was a wall there before. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to need to cough again. Yeah, that's a bit better. Right. Um. Holy crap. Okay, that's not great. That's not good. Well, none of this is particularly great, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, come on. Okay, you can mind fry something. 12%! Is that all you get against these things? I think it's because they are just mentally very, very tough enemies. They're just full of, I don't know, berserker madness or something. Okay, I can take out Stompy now, I suspect. I'm just double checking my my stuff. Okay, you can't see anything behind you that's going on. Goddamn enemies shooting down walls. I can't do cold shots against things like that. How dare you? God damn. That's a lot of enemies. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to hurt to ghost and then rapid fire. Yeah! That's the ticket. Oh, it's a shame the second one missed. That is a big shame. Now you can run and gun and get right in there and cause some damage. Going in for the kill. It's not perfect, but it's all we've really got. 
two lots of 30% chance means a 70 of a 70 reverse, that makes a 50% chance-ish. So there's a slightly higher chance of hitting one of two of these shots. Because there's about a 50% chance of at least hitting with one of those shots, where there's only a 45% chance of hitting with one shot. So in theory, rapid fire has got more chance of hitting once and has a small chance of hitting twice. That's maths for you. That's maths for you. <clears throat> now that's disappointing now as well, isn't it? I mean, this is supposed to be like an awesome high-tech guided weapon. Why the hell can't it reach that far? So you could suppress, and we could have others shoot others. Oh, I could mind fray you. You need to get your practice in. That's what you need to do. <clears throat> <laughs> Always makes me laugh. The maniacal sounds that they make. See, I could suppress you, which will basically mess you up. Oh, you always do that, don't you? Always, always. I think it must be a running gag <coughs> with Doctor Who. Definitely a running gag. I know, I'm going to say I'm pinned down when actually I'm not. Oh, how we laughed. I don't think that is close enough to get an angle on there. Which is a bloody shame. We've got a big radius there. Now, come on, don't don't do this to me. I think that is just about the right sort of thing to do. It's a difficult it's a, it's always a difficult call, of course. Now that stops the bloody thing repairing itself. Come on, don't stop targeting. What? Oh, they all want to join in in the fun now. Where are the chrysalids? Oh my god, they're all just... They're all really wanting us dead now. What is going on? <coughs> oh, and you missed... So your suppression really did not work. Whoa, where are you off to? Damn. Oh, civilian death time. Shut its brains out. At least it's a kind of a normal Mouton. Oh, here we go. Oh, God, here we go. But don't do it. Oh. It's still got another shot, technically, though, hasn't it? It can fire twice. Oh, and it's having another go at someone else. <coughs> don't do it. Oh. Oh, Stumpy, you're losing your touch. 
Now, the thing to remember about Stompy is I think if it ends its turn with the normal shot, it basically acts an automatic overwatch, which I think is completely cheating myself, but, you know, who am I really to, um... Okay, you can, you can kill him dead easy. <clears throat> you really need to keep your cover, though. Enemy defense range is a, is a bit... See, I really want to get up close and personal to Mr. Stompy. The problem we've got is we've got enemies over there, so I can't break cover. So basically, with that, we've got like a 70... Again, we've got double the chance of hitting if I fire twice. Well, not double the chance, sorry. We've got... <coughs> overall more chance of hitting at least once. Promotion time! Now, the problem with that is that you haven't got cover. So we're going to pull you back... So that's 20, that's, so you've only got 90% chance of hitting with either. 95% chance of hitting with the one. Statistically, better to go for the single shot. X-ray neutralized. Whitaker, 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 Whitaker. Who wants to throw a grenade or fire a rocket? <clears throat> Who wants to just completely nuke the cover of the enemy? And possibly hit something else behind. Yes, nuke them. Whoa! That's a lot of exploded things. Okay, I can't see where the cover is anymore. Um. Okay, who? I want you to move there. Make room for other people. Sixty-three, twenty-three. Take the shot. It'll do. My ammo you don't hit them. In the smoky cover. 75% chance of hitting nearly, missed nearly, Mr. Nearly Dead. <clears throat> X-ray down. What have we got? 84% chance of either of you two. I think so. Oh, come on, that's a miss, isn't it? Because there's no way shredded enemies would survive a hit from that. Pity. Well, that's one less enemy that's going to shoot at us this turn. Go on, you do the same. The hell? A little help over here, please. That's suppressed. I'm not. I'm not. Not upset about that. They're trying to flank us. They're on the move. Oh, bye bye, cover. What, did that just scare a civilian to death? Okay, so we've got enemy there, got an enemy behind us. You two can easily take care of that. You you lot can easily take care of this. Do we actually have here's someone in assault round here? Now we've got two heavies, support, and a sniper. With an enemy with 14 health. That's a lot of health. However, <clears throat> if it's got no cover, you get instant crits. Got two enemies over there. Damn. Problem is, he's using your mind abilities only causes five damage. Whereas you can cause twice the damage with the sniper. So what is it with these? Enemy exposed, so we do have that critical chance. It just doesn't look like that. X. Oh, of course, yeah, you only actually get. Whoa, I didn't know you could hover over them like that. Awesome. I did not know that. But yeah, I'd forgotten that. It's a, you only get the yellow shield if they're in cover, but you flanked them. If they have no cover at all. 
Okay, well, you're going to have to snipe someone. But that thing that's behind us needs to die. And I think we can pull back, flank that. Gonna need to reload soon. Yes, 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 I'm sure you do. You're suppressed. Or oppressed. You're being suppressed by that. You can run and gun to pretty much anywhere you want, but... Oh god, there's a living civilian there. That's very unlike the aliens to leave a civilian intact. Dangerous move, but I think it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. Try and suppress some... Eight. That was relatively rubbish. <clears throat> you can't run and gun at all. You're no longer suppressed. Only a 23% chance. That's fairly rubbish. Okay, moving out. I think point blank range. X ray neutralized. You take us a, a shot at one of these guys. <clears throat> you can't run and gun, and you can't advance into any kind of cover, but you can switch to the laser pistol and take a shot anyway, which is three damage, um, and we will get a critical, but I don't think we're going to do six damage with a crit. You know what, it's worth a shot though. Hope this works. It's times like this when I wish, <laughs> I really do wish. See, we can't kill it with one shot, I don't think. There's a small chance, only like a 26% chance, 27% chance of hitting it both times, but it's, eh, why not? You can get lucky sometimes. Ooh! It's a shame that second hit didn't, well, that second shot didn't hit. That would have been fun. Who shall we shoot at? Who shall we shoot at? Eeny meeny, miny mo. Well, that one's got a lot of enemies near it. Ah, yeah, well, I'll do it. No oh, shot wide. There we go. Now panic. Now's the time to panic and run or cower. That's it, you cower. We've yet to save a single sodding civilian. Stupid civilians. Do my nothing. Okay, I'm gonna move out there under one action and then get back into cover with the second. Get to the ship and keep your head down. You just dash to there. Ah, neither of those have got an overwatch now, though. Mm, not the cleverest of moving, but... Oh, someone saw an enemy as well, and now I don't know where they are. got them on the run. We've got one civilian in the drop zone. Or heading toward the drop zone, anyway. Back online. Okay, we've killed quite a few aliens, but we're not making... 
But as per usual, we're not doing very well with the whole civilian saving thing. It's pretty much my trademark when it comes to terror missions, I think. Well, so as I figure, if you kill the aliens, then they can't kill civilians. That all assumes that you actually do kill the aliens. How big is this zone? It's quite big. What the hell was that? It's a floater! A badly wounded floater. We're doing really abysmally. Basically, it spotted us and then panicked immediately. Obviously, it's been traumatized. You know, the traumatic memories of seeing us and being horribly wounded and its friends being brutalized. Yeah, gives me a warm feeling to think that I'm that I'm now providing terror to the aliens. Oh, I just can't. Wow, I'm actually quite surprised I can't see it from there. That's slightly annoying. 